everyone, welcome to another episode of Stoked on Spokes. On today's episode, we're gonna be taking a look at the Maxxis Chronicle, a plus tire that can either go on your 29 plus bike or your 27.5 plus bike. So the Maxxis Chronicle is a 27.5 by three inch plus tire that is made for your mountain bike, bikepacking rig, or commuter if you choose to commute on a plus bike. But why is it so popular? If you've seen on Instagram, social media, any sort of online presence platform, you will see that this tire is used over and over and over again. The question is why? Why do people go to the Maxxis Chronicle over something else? The answer, or at least what I think is the answer, is the Maxxis Chronicle is simply one of the fastest rolling tires in the Plus series of tires. Something that compares to something like the WTB Ranger. Other than that, there's really no options for a fast rolling tire. So when I got introduced to the Maxxis Chronicle through social media, I actually looked into it and decided to try it out. Now my Surly Karate Monkey, which is the bike that's behind me, was the bike that I intended to put them on. The Surly Karate Monkey came stock with Surly three inch Dirt Wizards, which is, they're a beast of a tire, just not so good for commuting. And I was using my Karate Monkey with a front, front loaded basket to commute on to and from work. So the Dirt Wizards were considerably slow. I needed a fast rolling tire, but still with the ability to go off road when I wanted to. In comes the Maxxis Chronicle. The beautiful thing about plus tires, and I think this is why the Chronicle excels, is that you can add more pressure, so pump it up to roll on pavement or light gravel, and you're gonna go flying, you're gonna be fast. If you encounter thicker gravel or you wanna take it mountain biking, you can just lose some tire pressure and the plus size tire accommodates, so it, it'll just be grippy in those situations and with the little tread that the Chronicle has is more than enough, unless you're dealing with wet conditions or very, very loose or sandy gravel. The only time that I've actually seen the Maxxis Chronicle not perform is on a tight mountain bike turn. On a mountain bike turn, when it can get sandy, it does slip out if you are cooking it a little bit too quick. But for the most part, it's a great tire. So who is this tire for? Is this tire for you? Or was it for me? I think there's three reasons to buy this tire. If you wanna make your 27.5 mountain bike a little bit quicker and you're using right now something that's knobby like the Dirt Wizard or any of the WTB offerings. If you wanna make your commuter quicker, just like me, I was using my Karate Monkey full rigid mode with a basket up front to commute. The Dirt Wizards were overkill for that. So the Chronicle threw them on, made it much quicker. And third, if you wanna do bikepacking trips, I think it is the best tire for bikepacking because when you're bikepacking, you don't necessarily know if it's all gonna be really loose gravel, you don't know if it's gonna be pavement, you don't know if it's gonna be dirt, you just don't really know the terrain. And being able to change those tire pressures and play around with the traction that the Maxxis Chronicle gets is a beautiful thing. Well, that was my look on the Maxxis Chronicles. Once again, it's a great tire. I do recommend it if you are in one of those three categories or if you just wanna take a look at it. It's a great tire. You won't be disappointed with your purchase. I will link it below just so you can find it easier. Hope this video helped you out. If it did, please consider liking and subscribing, sharing with a friend if they're looking for a new set of tires or if they're just interested in cycling like many of you are. Thanks again for watching. See you next week. Till then, remember to stay stoked on spokes.